So tell us, what is your experience with the CCP's BGY uh, plan? So I went to uh, China in 2017, attended a, a law conference, and uh, I, I was the hotel asked me a couple days before the flight if they could pick me up with a car, and I said, sure. So they picked me up with a car, and two beautiful Chinese women met me at the hotel. And then they checked me into the hotel, they brought me to the room. Are they from the CCP government? Well, I believe they were. Um, okay. I'm, I'm fairly certain they were, in hindsight. But uh, they showed me the room, one left, and the other stood by the bathtub. And I asked her, can you help? Can I help you? And she said that she wanted to give me a bath. And I, no thank you, I, put, I sent her on her way. Uh, the next day I was uh, at, at the conference, I was met by a, a woman from uh, a, a, the biggest law firm in China. And she invited me to Beijing. And we went to Mao's favorite restaurant right after Tiananmen Square, a four-hour dinner. We talked nothing about my business, nothing about the technology. She wanted to know, are you married? Do you have kids? Would you like a Chinese wife? Would you like to work for Huawei? Uh, would you like to be a venture capitalist? All things I'm not qualified for and all things they could pass money to me. And uh, it would be considered an appropriate business. So on one hand, I got the, the stick, which is... Had I jumped in the bath, there's cameras in every one of these hotel rooms. It's all wiretaped, and then that will become the tape that will demand your obedience. That's right. And then the money that you get from being a fake venture capitalist or a fake job at Huawei becomes a bribe. So on both sides, you have that. I'm a normal guy. This is I'm involved in technology. It's not just government officials, but I'm sure it is government officials. But it, uh, normal tech technological people. If I were an HR person or VP of HR at a big company, they'd, they'd say, hire Mr. Mr. Wang here for your technological development because he's with the CCP and he'll give us your technology. The small little nudges that they can do with this across thousands of people is changing this country. This is an evil, evil method of, of uh, manipulation and it must be stopped. So will you be surprised if uh, some Western politicians or businessmen were lawyers um, and they kept a quiet or silent in front of the CCP's crimes against humanity. Do you think they may have some similar experience that things have been wiretaped, that uh, they're afraid that this could become a blackmail against them? I think you can see that happening in the, with the pandemic and the hiding of the source of the, of the virus. You can see it across many areas. You can see it hiding the uh, butchering of, of uh, Falun Gong and taking their body parts. Uh, we don't talk about it because our politicians, many, not all, many have taken a bath <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and they're now got a, a job uh, as a venture capitalist or their spouse does. Many politicians' spouses are venture capitalists in China. Uh, there is no such thing as American venture capitalists in China. This is a method of bribery. So uh, when, when that happened, you were a CEO of a company in Hong Kong, right? Yes, yes. And I was uh, licensing patents, Chinese patents, of an American inventor in China. I didn't play the game. And the CCP, instead of, you know, they, they couldn't bribe me. They didn't have the tape. To, they didn't have the dirt on me. So instead, they invalidated the patent and destroyed the company. So you either play the game or, or you come back harmed in one way or another.